this is Uncle Jesse back in the house, underground rough house. We have Snoop Dogg and the East Siders. What's happening, babies? What's going on? What's going on now? We just East Siders out here on the East Coast right now. You know what I'm saying? Bringing that West Coast out here. Representing to the fullest dog house style. We got the East Siders rock on 2001, 2000. Hit the world with that shock bomb. You know what I'm saying? We hoping everybody go pick it up and get a dose of that. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, with this, with this project that you got, now, how does that feel? Because Snoop put you all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know and y'all started doing y'all, and y'all started clicking and everything like that, right? Yeah, well, you know, it was um, after he released the No Limit Top Dog album, you know, he said that, you know, he had held down Long Beach long enough, you know, on his own, so he had come back and grab a couple of his homies who was worthy of his attention, you know, that had received direction and guidance from him on how to be a public figure and how to maintain some longevity in this industry, you know, because we had the skills to bring it to the table, and he groomed and developing us, you know, along the way. You know, we formulated like six months ago and dropped cut after cut together in the studio, and, you know, it just came out to be a Fine project, and hopefully it'll be a classic. That's good. But now, now y'all coming out with the new label that Snoop has and everything like that. Now you're getting this feel. Most of the stuff from Long from Long Beach. Y'all brothers from Long Beach, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now with Long Beach, I know y'all got a different sound and everything like that. Y'all got a different thing of doing things and whatnot. What can y'all say we can expect from this kind of music? I mean, this this music is. is it's just good music, man. I mean, it's for the heart and the soul. It's a lot of good records on there that you could really enjoy. You know, got a lot of good party records, a lot of good records that make you, you know, think back on how it used to be and how it should be and how it's going to be. You know, it's one of those records where 22 songs on it. It's, it's, it's thought out. It's a scheme that, you know, we put together. Jamie's on? Yeah, it's a, it's a hell of a scheme. It's a hell of a scheme we put together, y'all. And it's for y'all, you know, especially the East Coast, the East Side of your world. You know, we did this for y'all, so, you know, we want y'all to feel comfortable with playing this and getting it and appreciating it. Now, with, um, with the music, now I understand, like, you all just told me that the radio station down here don't play too much of the West Coast stuff. Like that. None. And, like, see, like, on our video show, my video shows, I play, I play a lot of East Coast, West Coast, everything that comes to my, um, come to my desk. That's good looking out. Now, the West Coast, the West Coast play 60%. East Coast, 40% West Coast, and it's starting to level off and be 50-50 right now because the West Coast is coming back around strong. But the East Coast, for the past three, four, five, six, seven, eight years, wasn't giving you much love. I mean, me and Dre get played every once in a while, nobody else, and that's not fair because you got to at least give a get an artist a shot. You know right. what I'm saying? At least play the record and give them a shot and see if the public like it. And it's like. You know, we give East Coast Records a shout on the West Coast. I got mm -hmm. my own radio station at Power 106, my radio show, I mean. Right, yeah, yeah. So, you know, if it's a Jay-Z record or DMX record or Rockefeller or, or uh, Wu-Tang, anything that's East Coast that I know, right. I'm automatically going to add it to the playlist. Right, I'm exactly. not going to listen to it and say, oh, I don't like it. Or, I'm going to give him that love, and we don't get that love. And I feel like it's not the artist's fault or the public or the people. It's the program director. They need to stop hating and keep it real. That's what we're going to get at. You all feel that's mostly the program directors, or, or that's not feeling y'all, or not putting y'all in the play, or putting them that's, in the playlist. That's list? all it is. By me being in the in the radio show situation, where the, I deal with it, you see the politics. I know on. exactly what it is because on my radio show, I can play what I want to play. I play old school rock, him, KRS One, MC Shan. You know, I play old school Evan Champagne King. I play what I want to play. Right. I'm Snoop Dogg. I'm not a radio DJ, so if I can do this for two, three hours a day, everybody else can do it. You dig what I'm saying? Everybody else would. I'm you know something, things like that should should be taken to, to account because every there's a lot of good music out there and there's a lot of good music not getting heard because of either program directors not playing or whatever the whatever the science or whatever the problems may be. I'm gonna tell you what, why don't we go into your video right now? All right? Yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah, I'm Big Trey D, along with my homeboy Lil Goldie Loke and Big Snoop Dogg, and we comprise the East Siders. You know what I'm saying? So get aboard this first single from us. G'd up, like...